Okay, this is uh, Todd Bennett over at Grossmont High School, and I'm making this quick video to help people out with uh, their posting grades issue. There's actually two issues. One of them is when you're in your f in your grade book. So I'm in my grade book here on a, on a campus instructor, and I'm in grade book, and I'm looking at my grades. And one of the issues is under post where grades are. Teachers don't see any letter grades. They see the percentages in the percentage column, but they don't see the letter grades um, in uh, the, the post grade column. Um, and then the other issue is, is just the actual posting process. So the first problem I'm going to solve is um, showing you how to get grades in your posted grade column here for your final grade. First thing you need to do is come over to the settings um, chevrons, click on it, uh, it'll expand and you want to go over to grade calc options and if you don't see any grades over here in the post grade column it's because there's no grade calc option set so you have to choose either the GUHSD grade scale or if you have a custom one you have to select it here the weighting and scores as values doesn't matter it's this piece right here the grading scale so once you have the grading scale selected and you come back, you should now see that you actually have um, grades now in the uh, post grade column. And you're going to have to make this adjustment for every one of your classes. So once it's done here, you'll come over to the next class. And you'll make sure that you're in the final grade period. And you'll notice that um, I have this these grades here in the in the grade column, but if I didn't, I have to come back to settings, go to grade calc options, and then make sure that I have um, a grading scale selected. All right, so now once you have that in all of your classes, so you, I know we've got a ton of them and it's a pain, but um, once you have that setting set up for all of these classes, you're in final grade. You should see a letter grade in the post column. Once you have a letter grade in the post column, you'll click on the post link above the letter grade column. And you will choose semester one, week six grades. And then you'll click OK. And it'll change screens completely. It'll bring you over here to um, now I'm looking at my six weeks grades. And all of them are listed here. Now, if there was a change, I would have to click save. Mine's not changing. Let me just be uh, real quick and just give this student a D. And so now I would have to save the change. I'm going to give them back to an F. I'm going to hit save. Now, if you want to make sure that this grade has actually been posted, then you go over to your post grades tool and click OK. And you can then see all of the grades. So you'll see she still has a, a, an F. And I can then check for the conduct grade as well. So you guys, uh, you're going to have to do this each class. And I know it's, an, it's, a, it's a pain. Um, but that's how you're going to go ahead and, and, and solve this issue. I'll walk through it one more time for everybody. So I'm, I'm in my grade book. I'm going to change it to final grade. This is where I'll see my, all my assignments. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my post grade column. And you can scroll left or right. Okay, and this, if this is closed right here, you'll have to click on it to open it up. Make sure the chevrons are pointing in. Locate your post grade column. If there's letter grades in there, you're good. If there's not letter grades in there, you're going to go back to the settings. And go to calc, grade calc options, and you're going to make sure you choose a grade book. And then once that's done, again, you find the letter grade in the post grades column. Click post, choose task, and then OK. And it'll post them. And um, you, you've got to do that for the conduct grade here, too. So when you're in the conduct grade, you come here to six-week conduct grade, and you'll see it's listed there. Um, some of us want to have a nice fill column right here. We don't have it, but if you just click on any one of them, like I'll change all these to O's real quick. Just hit the O and then arrow down. And you see how fast that goes? I'm going to change it back. And I know it's not perfect, but it's one way of doing it. Um, and then if you want to do it in wholesale, you can come over to the post grades tool. 
and then you can fill in mass by going to fill grade s whatever you want to do i hope that helps um, if you have any questions at all you can email me at tbenrude at guhsd.net and uh, i'll do my best to try to help you out